everyone. Welcome to lesson 12.1, the last chapter of the year. And here's the first lesson in that chapter. You're going to be able to construct and analyze line plots, also known as dot plots. Now, constructing it is the easy part, but analyzing it is going to take us back to the last chapter with quartiles and interquartile range and outliers and all that fun and hard stuff. So let's jump right into it. Okay, first of all, a line plot is a graph that shows data along a number line. So here's just one example of one. It says number of pets, and um, four people have zero pets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people have one pet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people have two pets. Four people have three pets, and two people have four pets. All right, so I can analyze this a little bit right now off the top of my head. I could already tell that the mode would be 2 because that number occurs the most often. But we could find the mean, median mode, quartile 1, quartile 3, interquartile range. We're not going to do that with this one. I'm just more or less showing you what a line plot or dot plot looks like. Okay, let's make a line plot with the data right here. We have a bunch of numbers. These are number of projects that um, people are completing in a classroom. Great. So some people are completing zero projects. Some people are completing one. Let's just finish the number line. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I like to cross off as I go with my data. Um, only one person did zero projects, so I'm just going to put 1x right there. One project, I see one, two, three. Three people completed one project. All right, let's move to two. One, two, three, four, five. Five people completed two projects. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Trying to make them about the same height, so all the ones there, twos and threes. All right, three, one, two, three. Three people did three projects. One, two, three. Four projects. One, two, one, two. And only one person did five projects. Good for them. All right, so I just constructed my dot plot. Okay, nothing too hard there. We use X's. You could use dots. Some people, because it's called dot plot, might use dots. But I think it's easier to do it at X. And the only important thing when constructing it is to try to keep all of them in even, nice-looking shape and form there. Okay? Let me erase all this now. Let's get into analyzing our dot slash line plots, which brings us back to last chapter. All right, it says analyze a line plot, find measures of center and variation. So let's do measures of center first. Measure of center meaning mean, median, and mode. All right, let's start off with the easy one here. Well, first of all, let's look at the graph, the dot plot. Number of magazines sold. Well, 20 magazine, magazines were sold to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 people. Okay, so 20 magazines sold is our mode. That happens the most. Now, mean, I already did ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me add them up and divide by it. But I would have to add 17, 18, plus 18, plus 20, plus 20, plus 20, plus 20, plus 20, plus 23, plus 23, plus 23, plus 24, plus 25, plus 25, when you add all of those up, you end up with 319. Okay, well, there are how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 14 numbers, to, so to find the mean, 319 divided by 14, I think it came out to be 22.8 when I rounded it. All right, so the mean equals 22.8, and the mode was 20. Now, let's get into the median. To do that, though, I'm going to need some space, because I have all these numbers to write out. 
and I'm going to need them too for my core titles. So I'm going to erase the work we just did. Let's focus on the median. All right, let's write down our numbers in order from least to greatest. So dot plot's pretty nice to take those numbers because they're in order from least to greatest. So I have 1, 17, comma, 2 18s, no 19s, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 20s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 23s, 23. 23, hope I don't run out of room, 23, 124, can we still see it here? Yep, I got a little more room, and 225s. All right, let's take out this over here, we don't need that. All right, that's a lot of numbers to deal with, so it's a, thank you, all these numbers. Now let's find the median. Remember, the median is a number in the middle. If I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 numbers, in the middle would be, I'd have 7 on one side, 7 on the other. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right. So that's kind of like my middle area. And then these two numbers are right in the middle because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Two numbers in the middle. 20 plus 20 equals 40 divided by 2 equals 20. So my median is actually 20. Median equals 20. All right, so we got the mean, median, and mode done. Now let's focus on the measures of variation, meaning we need to find the quartile. Now I already found the median being 20. All right, there's two 20s in the middle, so my median line is really still right here. I have to find my two quartiles. Okay, so quartile one, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So remember, this is my bottom half right here and this is my top half so quartile one would be the median of the bottom half one two three four five six seven one two three one two three so 20 is not only just our is not only our median um, it's also our quartile one okay one two three four five six seven so one, two, three, fourth number, quartile three, Q3 is 23, all right? So the median is 20. Let's find the interquartile range, or IQR. If you remember from last chapter, to find the IQR, it's the difference between quartile one and quartile three. 23 minus 20 equals three, okay? Now, what's next? We need to find the range as well. Let's see, our range here. So we're finding all measures of variation. We have our IQR already. Let's do the range. 25 minus 17 equals 8. All right, now we have to determine if there are any outliers. And if we remember from last chapter, I know this is very confusing. To find any outliers, we have to take our IQR and multiply it by 1.5 first. That's the first step. So 3 times 1.5 actually equals 4.5. All right? Now, to see if there's any outliers, I have to take quartile 1 and minus 4.5 first on this side. And 20 minus 14, 4.5 equals 16, I'm sorry, 15.5. And since there's no number, so let me write that out, 20 minus 4.5 equals 15.5. Since there's no number that is 15.5 or less, there's no outliers in the bottom half. Okay? I take quartile 3. 23 plus 4.5. 23 plus 4.5 equals... 20, I know you can't see this anymore, equals 27.5, 27.5 tenths. Since there's no number that's 27.5 tenths or higher, then I have no outliers on this side. So that was a whole bunch of work for one dot plot, but we did the measures of center and we did the measures of variation. Measures of center being mean, median, mode, 
measures a variation, meaning IQR range, and finding if we had any outliers. Okay, we had no outliers due to the fact that um, none of the numbers were more than four and a half away from quartile one and quartile three. This is all going over your head. It might be. That's okay. Really, I wanted you to focus on making dot plots today. But in your homework, I am asking you to at least try to find measures of center and measures of variation for a dot plot that you will create. Let's take a look. Here's your work you have to do. Make a line plot, dot plot, and, and find measures of center, meaning you'll have to find the mean, median, and mode. And then you have to find measures of variability, variation, meaning you'll have to find the range, the IQR, and then determine, are there any outliers? All right. If you struggle with that part of it, finding if there's any outliers, that's okay. At least try to get mean, medium, mode, range, and the IQR. So these are your numbers. Calories in serving of peanut butter. Um, so different kinds of peanut butter have different amounts of calories. They're all peanut butter is not made the same. So I already have a the bottom of your line plot, 160 calories, 170, 180, and so on and so forth. You have to fill out your line plot and then find all of this information for me. So I know you can do it. Try your best, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.